I'm gonna show you how I made a card with the Painted Lavender Stamp Set Bundle. This is one of the new bundles from the upcoming January to April 2024, I guess it is. My gosh, I can't even believe it. Uh, 2024 mini catalog. So this one will actually be available to order beginning on January 4th, January 4th. <laughs> for um, customers to order. So the new catalogs are gonna be going out here in December. Sorry, my goodness, my paper's all crinkled up and I'm just a mess today. So um, so yeah, the uh, catalogs will be going out. I'll be ordering them for my customers on December 5th. That's the earliest that we can order them as demonstrators. Um, and then I'll be sending them out to you guys just as soon as I get my hands on them. So um, hopefully you'll love the catalog as much as I do. There's a lot of really good stuff in it. And this is just one of the, it's part of one of the big, uh, kind of mega suites with two stamp set bundles in it and there's designer series paper and there are embellishments and so all sorts of good things in it so hey Quinn and Pam and Tina and Mary Ellen and Roxanne I see everybody's here thanks for joining today I appreciate you um, so this is the card we're going to be making today and like I said it, it features the new painted lavender stamp set as well as the perennial postage stamp set and they're part of the same suite in the upcoming catalog so um, I see Kathy's here and Mary Ruth and Linda so thanks everybody for hopping in and Patricia is here too so um, so this um, if you have seen the catalog if you're a demonstrator you may recognize there's a card that looks an awful lot like this I did a couple little minor changes to it but I really love the layout of it and I love that it showcased some of the designer paper um, and just the pretty colors in it so i hope that you love the card too but this is what we're making today so um uh so oh connie saying hello from cold west virginia it's freezing here today <laughs> in new jersey too i'm telling you it's yeah we went from like beautiful weather kind of last week to like freezing today so yeah it's windy and cold and just yucky outside today the sun is shining here too but it's cold so um all right so this is the painted lavender stamp set it is a photopolymer so it is easy to stamp with you can see through it see where you're stamping at um, which is great for the two-step stamping that you can do with it um, we actually are going to be doing a little stamping um, with the stamp set but mostly stamping and die cutting so we're going to use these images here so um, there is a die set that coordinates with it again called painted lavender these are the dies that coordinate with it the open dies are the ones that will cut out the stamped images there are even little dies to cut out the butterflies and then there are a couple of accessory pieces here as well so there's just some greenery some leaves and then this one cuts out two of the tall kind of this type of look flowers so um so yeah it's a nice die set too so um, all right, again, this is called Painted Lavender. It'll be available for demonstrators to pre-order starting on December 5th. So if you're not a demonstrator, it's a good time to join because <laughs> you can pre-order from the upcoming catalog. Um, and then uh, all dem or everybody can order it starting on January 4th. Uh, the other, let me set this aside, other stamp set that is also in this, um, it's bundled together. This is called Perennial Postage. I shouldn't say it's bundled together. It's in the same suite. It's not bundled together. You don't have to purchase it together if you don't want to. There are dies that coordinate with this one, but I actually didn't use them on the um, uh, card today. So there are some dies that are called perennial postage dies, and it's a bunch of kind of nested postage stamp kind of edged dies, if that makes sense. So lots of good ones in there as well. But again, like I said, I used a different die set on the, the card today. So, um, but this is just a regular clean mount stamp set. Uh, great sentiments, love the mixed fonts on it. So there we go. So that's the other one that I used today. Um, and then the die set that I did use to cut out my sentiment, I used this die from the Timeless Arrangements dies because it fit perfectly around the sentiment that I wanted to use on my card. So that's why. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I see, uh, looks like Anne is here and Virginia and Julie and Sally and Carol. Thanks everybody for hopping in. So glad y'all are here. We don't have howling wind here, Tina, but it's cold. Ugh. <laughs> so a couple things to remind you of before, uh, before we get going, Stampin' Up! does have their carryover list that they've posted from the current mini catalog, which is the September to December 2023. So there are a handful of items that are carrying over. Um, there are some of the items that are bundled together right now like for instance the um gosh what is the name of the, the translucent floral stamp set bundle in particular the stamp set and dies are carrying over in mary's trees and there's another one too um, autumn leaves are, there are several that are carrying over that are bundled in the current mini catalog the bundle prices will stick around through the end of december and up until january 3rd and then when we roll over to the new catalog the bundle prices go away so if you're wanting any of the carryover uh, stamp set bundles 
get them now so you can get the extra 10% off. So, um, all right. And then the last chance products uh, sale is going on right now. That runs through January 3rd. Everything that is on the last chance or retiring looks like maybe I'm unfrozen now, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know for sure what's going on and why all of a sudden my video stopped, but I'm glad we're back. I think we're good. All right. Hey, Karen, thanks for hopping in and Donna as well. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to remind you while you're out doing your online shopping, make sure you're checking the online exclusives from Stampin' Up. These are available and they are only available online um, as online exclusive items. So uh, just make sure that you, they're not in any catalog. They kind of come and go. So make sure you're keeping an eye on those and picking up any of the online exclusives that you're interested in uh, before they go away. All right. So uh, let's get started on the card. I started, um, my original card base is a uh, four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half across the top because that's my preferred card base. But I do like to show you that almost all the cards that I do, you can actually make with the standard book fold card, which is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter down the middle. So whatever your preferred card base is, you can do. I like the top fold ones, but that's just me. I know a lot of people like the side fold ones, so I'm gonna show you today that you can also make this as a side fold card. So we've got crumb cake card base. This is cut to um, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter right down the middle. And then I've got a piece of the perennial, uh, or I'm sorry, perennial postage designer series paper. No, perennial lavender, I'm sorry. I'll get all the names right one of these days. <laughs> Perennial Lavender is the name of the um, paper, and it's absolutely beautiful, both sides of it. So it's hard to glue one of them down, but I had to do it. So, <laughs> but it's a beautiful pack of paper. Can't wait for you all to see it. Again, it'll be available um, with this suite, uh, either as part of the suite, or you can get it individually as well, um, starting on January 4th. Unless you're a demonstrator, then you can get your hands on it on December 5th during the pre-order. Um, so this is cut to about uh, five, four and a quarter by five and a half, so it should cover the entire card front unless I've had a cutting mishap which I have been known to do so I'm not going to swear that I didn't cut it wrong but it should cover the card front it should be cut to four and a quarter by five and a half all right there we go just going to give that a second to dry and then I have another piece of the um, perennial lavender uh, I almost call it stamps it. Perennial Lavender Designer Series paper. So this is another piece. This entire sheet has got the little purple and white flowers on it. And then the backside has got, um, again, it's some of the kind of lavender looking flowers with a little bit more of like a crumb cake peeking around it. So it's beautiful paper. You definitely all need to get it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out, this is a piece of basic white cardstock that we're going to be stamping on in just a second, but I want to make sure that I end up with my uh, little lavender paper placed in the right spot. So I'm going to pull this out um, as I'm sticking this down to make sure that we've got, you know, things placed where I want them to be and not in the wrong spot. So I'm going to put a little stamp and seal here on the back of this. This whoop, little strip of paper is cut to about um, one inch wide by about five inches tall. And again, I'm just going to take my piece of basic white cardstock and sort of lay it here where I think it's going to land um, on my final card project and place the, the um, little designer series paper strip sort of according to that. All right, so there we go. Um, this piece is cut. To, oh, you get just got your mini catalog and celebration. I actually don't have mine yet. I'm a little jealous too. <laughs> so I've seen it because I've seen the online version of it, but I don't have the actual one yet. It takes forever for them to get to New Jersey. So um, this is a piece of basic white cardstock and it's cut to about two and a half inches wide by about four and three quarters tall. And we're going to do some stamping with shaded spruce ink and one of the Painted Lavender images. So again, this is one of the um, images from the, the new Painted Lavender stamp set, Shaded Spruce Ink. Um, didn't get yours either, Bonnie. Okay, so it's not just me who's like hanging out waiting. It takes, last year, I don't think I got mine until like two days before Christmas. So it was really late getting here. Um, thankfully, during my pre-order, I usually just put a pack of catalog, well, a lot of packs of catalogs in, and I just grab one of those <laughs> out of it. Then I've got my original copy. So, all right, so I'm going to stamp that here on the piece of basic white cardstock. Again, I'm using shaded spruce ink. So, you have yours, Linda. Oh, see, now I'm all jealous. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> so, oh, it's okay. So, several of you don't have yours yet. Okay, so it's not just me. All right. I'm going to stamp this a second time here on um, the piece of basic white cardstock again in shaded spruce ink. Just putting it a little bit up higher this time. A little bit up higher, a little bit higher, I guess is what I should say. Um, and actually, 
I'm gonna leave that open for a second and set that aside. And then I'm gonna grab some, another piece of basic white cardstock and we're just gonna stamp. This is kind of the little bunch of stems image. So that's this one on my um, painted lavender stamp set. And we're gonna stamp that also in shaded spruce ink on the basic white cardstock. And then I'm gonna close up this ink pad. And then I'm gonna grab, this is kind of the larger bunch of uh, lavender. And I'm gonna use Gorgeous Grape ink, and I'm gonna ink that, so. Hey, Bonnie, no worries. We're just kind of getting started on the card. I was busy doing a lot of yakking earlier, so um, just making sure that I've got this good and inky here, so, all right. And we will stamp it here. And if I don't get a great image, we can always restamp it. All right, looks pretty good to me. So again, that was Gorgeous Grape, and that is one of the colors that's in the Designer Series paper pack. It also has Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia and Berry Burst, and I feel like there's a whole bunch of colors kind of all in this purple realm, but um, Blackberry Bliss, I think, is in it too. Um, all right, so I'm going to grab a couple of the dyes here. So I'm going to take this one that cuts out the the um, lavender image. And then this one cuts out my little bunch of stems. Um, one thing with this die for the stems, I'll try to hold it up here closer to the screen so hopefully you can see it. When you get it lined up on the top, the way you can get it lined up on the bottom is actually there are little holes cut in the very bottom of the die and you can see the stems through them. And when you can see the stems through them, then you know it's lined up correctly. If you don't see stems, then you need to wiggle it around until you do. So there you go. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this through my die cutting machine. So I'll be off screen for just a second. Hopefully just a second anyway. Always easier to get things lined up when I am not on camera. There we go. I think we're getting it. Maybe. There. Oop, that's the top. Come on, Amy. Sometimes my hands work better than others. All right. I think we got it. <laughs> I think we got it. Now hold everything tight and hold your breath. All right. Oh, and then my lavender's cut all crooked. I did get the stems done right, though, so I'm going to keep that one. We're going to restamp the lavender quick while I'm standing here. And I still have things set up for die cutting. So, uh, all right. Try that again and see if I can get a better cut this time around. All right. Throw that away. This one looks better Ooh. as I throw it on the floor. <laughs> All right. Now that we're done with the, you know, the hard part, die cutting, I'm telling you. Uh, where did I put my, there it is. I want to make sure I put those back on the sheet before I completely lose track of everything. All right. So I'm going to take my little stem, or my little stem. This would be the flowers, <laughs> the little grouping of flowers. And we'll put those up near the top. And then I'm going to take my little stems and we're going to stick those down near the bottom, just like that with some glue dots. And grab a couple of those here. Um, I did want to keep this a little bit flatter just because I was going to be putting um, some layering over the top of it with the sentiment and wanted to make sure that I had, um, a, you know, didn't end up with it, you know, 12 layers thick because sometimes I can do that with cards. All right. And again, grab a little glue dot here. Another little glue dot down here on the back of my stems. And then I may end up kind of scooching this all up just a hair. That's why I didn't smoosh it down too, too much on the paper. Because I figured I was going to want to wiggle it around. And then I'm just going to line up generally the stems with the bottom of the lavender. And I can see that I got it a little scooted over based on um, my original one. 
is not quite that far over, but that's okay. We'll just stamp the butterflies in a different place and layer it up and then nobody will know, well, except us. So, um, all right, so I've got fresh freesia ink here and I'm gonna go ahead and ink up the little butterfly image from the painted lavender stamp set. And we're just gonna stamp that right over here next to the lavender. And we'll close up that ink pad. And then we're gonna go back to my card front and grab a little stamp and seal. And we are gonna stick this to the card front with stamp and seal. And hopefully I do not end up with um, shaded spruce ink all over everything. For some reason, when I made this card, every time I turned around, I had something else with smudged green ink on it because I, I don't know, I somehow <laughs> I got my fingers all green and I was just a mess. So, all right, lining it up so that I'm relatively even on the top and the bottom. There's a little bit more of a peak of the designer paper along the side. All right, then I'm gonna grab um, a little bit of the linen thread and we're just gonna tie a quick little bow. So, hey Ginger, thanks for hopping in. So, all right, so I'm, when I do my bows, particularly with linen thread, I just do, do the little bunny ears. So I'll make bunny ears first cross them over one another and then tuck one inside the other. And then that lets me pull the, the ends as long or as short as I want them to be when I'm making my bow. So that just makes it a little easier for me. When I'm tying bows, I usually end up with lots of extra, which is okay, because you can always cut it off. I did learn early on that it is really hard to add on. If you end up cutting a piece of ribbon or twine or anything too short, it doesn't work very well to try to add on. <laughs> so I usually try to make mine oversized and then cut them down when I need to. All right, and I've got a little glue dot here. We're just gonna stick that on the card front. And I'm gonna angle my little bow here so that it's kind of a little bit up, a little bit down. And that's definitely way too long. So we're gonna trim off a little bit. Mm, I think that one's probably all right. We may need to trim that in one in the end, but we'll see how it looks once I get everything all on the card front. Uh, next up, got a piece of Fresh Freesia cardstock, and I'm gonna grab my gorgeous grape ink again. And I've got the sentiment from the, the um, perennial postage stamp set, and this one says, you're simply marvelous. And like I said, it's got a, got a lot of good little sentiments in it, and love the fonts in it, and all different sizes for the sentiments as well. Um, so, All right, hopefully we're back. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna give it a second because it looks like I'm back on my phone, but I'm not sure. Ah, I'm back, whew, okay, thank you, Carol. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Apparently I needed to check the uh, video feed here a little bit and uh, figure out what's going on at our house. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I, that's twice now where it's frozen. So I'll try to hurry. I guess maybe it doesn't want me yakking so much. So I'm gonna take this with the Timeless Arrangements dies and we are gonna uh, run this through the die cutting machine and I promise we're almost done. Yeah, YouTube does miss Rosie, that's it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And we're gonna grab a couple little Stampin' Dimensionals and we're gonna stick this to the card front. When I put my Stampin' Dimensionals on here, I wanna be a little careful and make sure that I put them towards the edges because I've got my bow here in the center, so I wanna accommodate that and not end up with the dimensional stuck accidentally over the top of my bow. So I'm just gonna go to the outside edges with my dimensionals. And I do chop mine in half. If you like the whole ones, you're certainly welcome to use them, but I like the half ones. So that's my story, I'm sticking to it. All right, I'm gonna put this on here right over the top of my bow and a little bit kind of off center from my paper on the background. There we go. Uh, last thing for the card front is I've got, these are also part of the new sweet, very burst, gorgeous grape, and then I think this is Highland Heather or Fresh Freesia. I can't remember which, which of the lighter purples. I'm pretty sure it's Highland Heather, but I may be wrong. So, um, and they're in two sizes. So I'm gonna put one of the larger ones and take that and kind of tuck it here under the sentiment and one of the smaller ones, and we will take it here and stick it next to the sentiment. There we go, and that's it for the card front. So super, super easy, um, so that's it. Inside of the card, I've got pretty easy as well, and I've got just a piece of basic white card stock. And this is a little bit of the Designer Series paper, the um, perennial lavender paper that I cut from the card front. 
uh, when I was trimming it down to, to fit there. So there's about a half inch piece here and it's probably four and a quarter ish long. So it's a little oversized for what I need because this piece is four by five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it on here. Um, I usually leave it a little bit oversized because again, sometimes my measurements are not always super, super precise and it's much easier to trim things down than it is to try to add to. So I just usually do that. And then I'm going to grab my little butterflies again and fresh freesia ink. And we're just going to stamp this again, stamp the little butterflies up here in the upper right corner. And I'll close that up and then we'll glue it to the inside and we're going to be all done for today. So if I can find my stamp and seal, that is. So um, can't wait to get the sweet. Oh, it's a really, it's a good one, Karen. You're going to love it. It's so, so pretty. And the colors are beautiful in the paper. Uh, the designs are beautiful in the stamp set. There are some butterfly, um, like laser cut butterflies that are white that you can ink or you can leave them white and they're beautiful as well. So all sorts of good things in the suite. All right, sticking that to the inside of the card and then we're gonna fold this closed. Do a little crease on the side and we're all done for today. So this is my original, this is the one we did today. And again, like I said, you know, you can see I kind of scooted it over a little bit to the left. Not necessarily on purpose, but we'll call it on purpose. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's it. It's like I said, it's a beautiful suite. These are all going to be available. Everything here will be available for demonstrators to pre-order starting on the um, fifth, fourth. Of, keep calling it the fifth on the fourth of January. Uh, Okay, so let me start over. Demonstrators can pre-order on the 5th of December. I knew one of the dates was the 5th. <laughs> and then it'll be available for everyone to order uh, beginning on January 4th. So again, beautiful suite. Make sure you take a peek at it in the catalog. I'll be mailing my catalogs out to my customers just as soon as I can order them in early December. So if you've ordered from me at least $50 in product over the last year, you'll automatically be on my mailing list. So, and if you're not on my mailing list, just order and I'll send one out to you too. All right. And I just looked outside and it's snowing here in New Jersey. My goodness. Anyway, <laughs> all right. And with that, I will end so the video doesn't hopefully freeze again. Um, have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I will plan to be live again um, out here on YouTube around 2 o'clock Eastern time on Friday. Until then, have a wonderful week. All the details for this will be posted on my blog tomorrow. I will link up the blog post in the description of the video once it goes live around 8 o'clock in the morning Eastern time so you'll be able to see all the details then. Uh, thanks so much for joining me and for putting up with the technical issues and um, we will chat with you all soon.